The Museum of the National Center of Afro-American Artists, or the NCAAA, located in the heart of Roxbury, celebrates the visual arts heritage of African cultures and the African diaspora worldwide. Now, the museum, you have the information up on screen, presents a wide range of historical and contemporary exhibitions in many media, including painting, sculpture, photography, and decorative arts. Now, during the holiday season, the music division produces and performs one of my favorite, Black Nativity, with this year marking its 45th season of theatrical wonderment. This joyous company of singers, actors, and dancers always delivers a powerful message of joy, hope, victory, and liberation. Black Nativity honors the conviction of NCAAA's founder, Elma Lewis, that spiritual and humane values have to be celebrated to build wholesome communities. With that kind of intro, I am very happy to welcome our next guest to give us more information about this, the executive direction of the NCAAA, Edmund Barry Gaithier. Welcome back to Urban Update. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here, and I deeply appreciate this opportunity Absolutely. to say more about our work and especially about Black Nativity. Absolutely, let's get right to it because we're officially in holiday season mode right now. You're, you've digested all your food from Thanksgiving and now we're in Christmas time, right? Yes, and Christmas in Boston does not come without Black Nativity. Oh, I like that. Black Nativity is in its 45th year and has become a cherished tradition for many, many, many people, not just in Boston, but in the region. It is a way of mocking an intergenerational opportunity to share something that is about the value of caring, about the gift of hope, and about the profound commitment to rebirth. And all of those things are the content of Black Nativity, which we like to think of as a gift from the Boston black community to men and women of goodwill of all traditions. That's a great, you know, I'm sold. I'm sold. Where do I sign up? And I only have to pay $5. Just get your tickets. Oh, $5, right? It's Well, we hope you'll get deluxe tickets. Oh, we can deluxe. raise the price for your tickets. Oh, or I can buy tickets for some of the crew here. Of course. Because of Marcy course. needs a little bit of black nativity. Yes, that just reminds me that we have taken great care over these many years to keep black nativity a very affordable seasonal show. Absolutely. And we are less expensive than many of the shows that are annual events for this time of the year. It's we less than are a drink. affordable for a family. Yes, that's what you I love. You can that. bring everybody from grandma and grandpa to the littlest one. I want to take a few pictures because a, a picture is worth a thousand words. I keep saying that yes. because um, you know the, the, there's a lot of actors and 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 this photo is uh, you know says a lot. It's at the Paramount Theater, right? Yes, we're at the Paramount, Paramount Theater. Theater, and, and you've got crew people from all over. We're a cast of uh, 75 people, youngsters, adults, lawyers all kinds of people and one of the things that has made our show really fantastic is every year there are new people in the show new youngsters who start with us in october some of them never having really performed in public and in the short period from october to the top of december they master standing and performing without a director for an audience, and they capture hearts. I say to them, you can't make a tradition overnight. A tradition is something you have to cultivate and build. Right, over time. They become part of a tradition. They're woven into a history that reaches back to 1970 and to the magnificent work of Dr. Elma Lewis, John Andrew Ross, George Howard, who did the original choreography, and Vernon Blackman, who was the first drama director. Wow. So they attach to this tradition, and we all need that in order to appreciate where we are in I, time. For those who are now sold, officially you've sold our entire audience, because you're really good at this, I want to put up the information of the run date 
and for tickets. Yes, uh, we still have tickets available. Good. And you can call the box office at the Paramount Center or <coughs> you can go to www.nctaa. Dot org. Now, if you put double A, you'll get the Athletic Association. So be sure and put triple A. Absolutely. And that's at the Paramount Theater right in Washington Street. It's a beautiful venue. And, uh, so and don't miss this year. Yeah, absolutely. So now tell me, um, you know, we, we talked a little bit about being a tradition. What, in your experience, keeps families coming back? Because you've got the new folks who are curious, but I know you have families and folks who just keep coming year after year. There are two things, I think, that feed into that answer. One is that a tradition requires a certain familiarity. I mean, you want to have a contour that you know. So the show, in its large aspect, is similar from year to year. But you also don't want to be bored with the same thing. So I say this show is a little bit like Ray Charles, who never sang the same song the same way twice. Ah. So each time you come, there will be something new in the spirit, the presentation, and the invention of the show. That's why people come back. And, and of course, this all stems from uh, a lot of the work you do at the center. And the yes, museum. it does. So I do want to also put up the information of that museum and center and talk a little bit about it, because you are right in the heart <coughs> of, of Roxbury, right? Yes, we are at 300 Walnut Avenue, and we program year-round. We do an annual Juneteenth on the 19th of June. We do a Big Head Festival in August, which celebrates the magnificent sculpture on our grounds, Eternal Presence. We do tours and educational events, movies, film, the whole works throughout. So if you visit our website, you'll see all of that. We see our role in the world as enunciating for ourselves and for others who black people are in the history of the world. Yeah, and, and we mentioned a little bit about it being a tradition here in Boston. And you said something at the beginning, Christmas time is not Christmas time until, you know, we... Ah, uh, yes, yeah. that's true. I, I, I like that because it's such an integral part of what Boston is today. It's yes, a very we, yeah, we, we have chosen to really make our cast and our members all from Boston, always. And you know, one year, we did have celebrity guests in the show, but we have found that there is nothing like being at home and drawing on the wealth of talent that you live with every day. You see yourself and your neighbors differently when you see them in the totality of their creativity. Yeah. I want to put up a picture of, uh, of one of the cast. Take this one down. No, we're going to have you look at, tell me who these folks are. We're going to put a, a cast, because I saw a lot of young people yes. in, in it. I saw a lot of theat theatrical value in, in the sets and so forth. So when people go and you see something like this, which is up on screen now, this is a complete theatrical wonderment, yes. right? Yes, yes. It is a music play. It's costumed, and the extraordinary thing is you will go to nothing else at Christmas where you see Mary deliver the Christ child on stage. And you're great. That pas de deux is worth it. You are a great spokesperson. I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you very Thank you much. Thank you for coming by this morning. All right. And we will be there. Black Nativity. Bye. I'll be looking for you in particular. Front row. All right, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. But before we go, a special shout out to our friends at Boston Ballet and their whole Nutcracker crew. And remember, go Pats. They play later tonight right here on Channel 7 NBC as they try to stay undefeated this season. For the entire team here at Channel 7, I am Alberto Vasallo. Have a great Sunday, everyone.